we have Taylor Charles today as our guest. Taylor, how are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. We'll start with your introduction. Please introduce yourself. I'm Taylor Charles. I am a senior here at Penn State Dubois. I am a business major. I'm an honor scholar. Um, I'm on the board of directors for Delta Mu Sigma, our honor society. I am a certified peer educator and I'm the vice president of the business society. Wow. So you're wearing so many hats. Yes. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your Penn State Dubois journey. I started my freshman year and um, I was an honor scholar, uh, got the interview and everything done in high school. So I started that right when I started my first year. Um, COVID hit, of course, but before all that, I was able to become a certified peer educator on campus, which is kind of like um, a peer mentor in a way. Um, people can come to me and I can help them with advice, like give them advice, anything like that. Um, good study habits, things like that. So I work with Colleen Lanzoni, the counselor on campus with that. Um, I got into the business society. Um, luckily I am now on the executive board for that. And we've done many things over the years there. Um, I'm an honor scholar, of course. I've done so much for them. I've done undergraduate research, um, which uh, is, I guess my topic is augmented and virtual reality development. And I've been working on that for the past two years. Um, I have presented that work many times. Um, I actually did the undergraduate uh, research symposium and got an award for that last April. And um, I've done quite a bit for the scholars on like with the undergraduate research. I got to go to a, on a trip to Hawaii. That was fun. Um, but yeah. Great. So a lot definitely has been going on, but maybe we can go back and talk a little bit more about your honors scholar program. So there are a lot of these opportunities that come with the honors scholar program, including an international trip, including undergraduate research opportunities, and also including, I know there are some, of course, scholarship opportunities. Were you able to get any scholarships through our honors scholar program too? Yes, I did get some scholarships to the, for being a scholar as well. So basically the honors scholar program really enriched your experience here at Penn State Dubois. So you got a lot out of it. Yes, I sure did. So I know you are very much involved in our business club. Right. Could you tell us a little bit about your business club experience? Um, so I am the vice president of the business society this year. Um, especially after COVID, cause we had a rough patch and I think everybody did. Um, we really got involved on campus very fast. Um, so actually, um, one of the other scholars had an honors project they were doing for a different class. And um, she was doing things with sustainability action and all of that stuff. And she kind of presented it to the business society as I was a member of it and she wasn't um, part of it yet. And I was like, this is such a good idea. We need to create an event on campus for this. So um, we instantly collaborated and we made the 21 days of sustainability challenge, um, which was last year, first year for us. And it turned out amazing. We had over a hundred students and faculty sign up. We had half of, at least half of them participate through the challenge and show up to our big Earth Day celebration. So part of the little challenge um, is uh, it's, uh, we go through the Canvas course like we create one of those and we give it to students that way. So it kind of comes up in a way for them to keep track of their participation. We can watch them 
uh, go through the challenge as well. Um, so we give them tasks to do on sustainable actions, things they can do to put into their daily routines, to be more sustainable. Um, and the whole point of this is to raise awareness on sustainability and the whole, like the title of 21 days of sustainability is it takes 21 days, three weeks to create a habit. So in a way we're trying to get students, faculty and staff on campus to really create um, a more sustainable lifestyle uh, for themselves and for our planet. So there's that we just, we're starting um, development for this year. We've, I've got plenty of feedback from last year on what worked and what didn't. So we're like the Canvas course just got put up. I'm working on developing it and getting all the tasks in. We're actually collaborating with the green team this semester. Um, so I'm working with them. We're going to do some fun stuff, I hope. Um, but yeah, the, the next challenge is actually at the end of March. We'll start then and that'll run all the way until Earth Day. So um, it's going to be super fun. I think we've learned a lot from last year, so it's going to be even better. And I cannot wait to see what happens after um, I leave, at least, um, to see how far, like how bigger and better it can be as the years to come. Because I feel like that is like that's become the business society's event. So um, it's going to be great to see what happens down the road with that. Um, we have an adult Easter egg hunt this semester we're doing. Um, so we'll have that. I believe it's the end of March. Um, there's that we do professional headshots for LinkedIn accounts. We do that. We work with the marketing department with Jess Mondi and she takes, um, pictures for students. Anybody honestly can show up, get a professional headshot done, and that can be used for anything you so desire. Now, what's been the most memorable experience you've had at Penn State Dubois? Oh, man, I've had a lot. I'm not going to lie. Even with COVID in the way, I've created so many memories. Um, I love the campus. Um, it's so small, but you know everybody, and you get to know, meet so many amazing people on campus. So just the connections alone, I've created so many memories with so many people. Um, my undergraduate research advisor, um, Diane Spradling, her and I have worked so well together. So that right there, um, I think probably the most memorable would have to be that trip to Hawaii. Um, I, if you were telling me I was going to Hawaii, that's crazy. Like I could not imagine that. So I was so lucky to be able to do that and experience such an amazing culture. And it was so amazing. And I'm not, I hope I can go back soon because it was so great in a way. It's like, I've done Hawaii. I want to travel more now. Like I want to experience other cultures now too. Like it's, it's such a good experience. So honestly, that's probably going to have to be it. The Honor Scholars Program has really given me so many opportunities. Any tips for students following your footsteps? You know, I really like to say, find your people. Um, in a way, find the people that, um, that, that can be with your major, that could be within a club, find your people. Um, because they'll help you with anything. Um, I probably wouldn't have made it through certain classes if I didn't make friends with certain people. Just to, um, it's just the experience and creating new friends and connections with so many people that I feel like that's really what got me through college in a way. That is really true. To have a support group makes a huge difference. And that's what you are doing also as a college student to really broaden your network and you can see the impact, the positive impact of it immediately, of course, but I'm sure all these relationships you're building will be lasting long time, right? Even after graduation. Absolutely. Get involved. Like that right there, 
find a club to be in, go to events. Um, you'll find just people that you click with and, um, they'll just, they'll come to you. They'll like, it's just like creating a support group of just those people. Um, even if it's like not a student, the faculty and staff on campus are amazing as well. And they'll help you through anything. So that alone as well. In terms of all the things happening on our campus, do you think we have a lot going on? What is your assessment? Well, I work up in student affairs right now, up in student engagement. So we do a lot. There are so many events left and right. And it's so much fun. Um, uh, actually, we had Polynesian dancers just the other day. And that was so much fun because the one girl pulled me in. She goes, you're going to dance with us. Just do it. And I, I had a blast. Like these events that happen on campus, they're just, they're, they can reduce stress and all that. Like get you, like get out, like quit doing your homework. Just go do something on campus. They're all, they're usually free to go to, especially when you're a student. So just go to them. What's going to happen half the time there's free food. So if anything, it's just a good way to take a break, put down the books, uh, go spend time with some people. Where are you headed after graduation this May? I will be going into, I'm going to go work on my professional career. Uh, what that looks like, I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to the career fair uh, at the end of March. So I have been working with career services for about two weeks now, getting my resume ready, everything I've done over the past four years. Um, and I'm, I feel very confident and I think I'll be very prepared um, with how helpful career services has been for me alone. So um, hopefully with my business degree, um, I'm hoping to get into some marketing, maybe becoming a marketing analyst. Um, I've also grown, grown very fond of project management, so I might even go into that. One thing to note is that your job search, you know, sometimes takes a long time. Persistence is really the key there. Of course, you want to practice before you show up for your interviews. You also want to make sure, send out as many applications as possible, which will improve your chance of getting hired. Yeah, the business program has been very helpful in getting all of us prepared, just uh, all of us business majors moving on here soon. So I've taken classes and they've, they've slowly updated resumes and they've taught us interview techniques and um, I'm definitely, I'm prepared for what's to come.